Hugh Kelly, it had to be. For all anyone knew, Rosie was in there. I doubt that Hugh Kelly would put her at risk, however much they hate Eddie. Well, maybe he checked and saw she was an Indian. A car threw a pool. Eddie had put fresh padlocks on the door. Are you defending Hugh Kelly? What if whoever did this wasn't trying to get Eddie? They wanted to get Rosie. John Christopher Mangan. I'm detaining you in suspicion of arson and possible homicide. Oh, no, hold on a minute. I suggest you bring your solicitor. What's going on here? Easy, Where are you Kathleen, taking him? I'll sort them. Where are you taking him? He's only oh. after losing his brother. Stop it, you're making it worse. He's under his family now, are you? are looking in the wrong place. Rosie saw who killed her mother. State is assuming temporary guardianship of Rosie Mongan until legal issues are cleared. She needs 24 hour protection. Her life is at risk. Don't waste your time, Jack. These people are just casualties in an indifferent war. You're right, you're right, you're right. Ron, call me when you know what's happening. What are you doing with Rosie? You can't take her nowhere without me. Don't worry, Petal. You'll have some explaining to do. Can we get you something, sweetie? Hot chocolate, maybe? I know this is an extremely difficult time for you, so we're going to be as brief as we can. And any time you want to stop, we stop. Okay? You're a very brave girl. I made it down the woods. I sleep there sometimes. Thought I was drunk. So I went there. But I didn't say nothing. Right, Grant. Now, I want to go back to something that we've spoken about already. That night, five days ago. I know that you spoke to Jack Taylor, and he told me that the account you gave him of that night is different to the account you gave to us. Is that correct? When you found your mother, did you see anyone? Yeah. Can you describe them? He had a green coat, a red beard, a tall green hat, a pipe, and said top of the morning to Rosie Mungan.
Thanks, boss. Oh, Rosie, love. Come on. We're going home. Hold on. Hold on. That's our grandfather. I'm no Rosie's legal guardian. If you can't decide between yourselves, it'll be up to the courts. John, John. Don't do this. Not here. Not now. She is my granddaughter. She is coming with me. Right, Rosie? John, John. You can't take her away from us. Can't leave. I'm can't missing my morning sugar rush. I... No. What have we here? Chocolate crisps. Chocolate crisps. Chocolate. That narrows it down. Why'd you tell him? Tell him what? You told that guard what I told you. I'm sorry, Rosie. Your life could be in danger. I had to... I thought I could trust you. But you're just an arse like all the rest. Rosie? Don't you watch me neither. Look, we can get out of here and we can just ask the child. Rosie. Rosie. Now, come on now. Rosie. Come on, talk to me. I believe in justice. I believe that as a police force, we can really make a difference in people's lives. And most of all, I believe that it's the relationships that... What? Jesus, Noonan, did I interrupt you during foreplay? This is a bad time. Why, would that stop you? I was trying to be civil. Oh, that's a first. Fine, screw the chit-chat, here's the deal. I need your help. Christ, what have you done now? This isn't about me. Another first. It's about an 11 year old kid. She's done a runner. Some bad people want to kill her. I need your help. But if you do help, you'll be breaking the law. You really know how to sell it to a girl? I don't know who else to turn to. Don't say that's a first. Did you check with the Malones? Nobody's seen her yet. And the cinema's in town. She loves to film. She could be there. She's in town. She could be anywhere. Gabe, okay. what kept you? Go on, turn. Didn't we all? <laughs> this is Kate Noonan, an old friend. Kate, this is Kathleen Mullen. Why? Why'd she run? She's blaming herself for everything. It all became too much. She had to get away. You can read her mind. I just want to know one. Jackie wrote the book on guilt. She's gone somewhere she feels safe. Somewhere she connects with her mother. But where? How did you get involved in all this? Still trying to figure that one out. Wrong place, wrong time? Or the right one. Birthday present from her mother. She takes good care of it. Jimmy Byrne. Let me see.
quiet here. There's a key in the door. Hello? Anybody home? Rosie. Rosie? Come on. Talk to me. That fella giving you bother? Who the hell are you? Pushy little so-and-so, isn't he? I'm Kate, by the way. I'm a friend of Jack's. Fire going. Hello? Kathleen, it's Jack. We found her. Oh, Jesus. Is she all right? She's grand. Here. Sweetheart! Hello? Hi, Chicken. God, you're all right. So, what'd you say to her? Oh to get her to come out? I know. Well, to begin with, I just asked her what she thought of you. She's annoyed, Jack. And? And she said at first she didn't like you. Yeah, all right. Then, later on, she did like you. She thought you could become her friend. Hmm. I said to her, yeah, you think he's your friend, and then he messes it all up by doing something stupid and hurtful. And it makes you so mad that you never want to talk to him again. Right. She thought that was funny. Hilarious. Hey. Tell me where you are. We're coming right over. I think it's better if she stays here for a while. Rosie agrees. Jack Taylor. You tell me where you are right this minute. Give us that phone. Taylor, where are you now? As long as nobody knows where she is, she's safe. I'll check in tomorrow. I swear to God, if nothing happens to that child, I'll kill you. If anything happens to her, I'll save you the banner. He hung up. He done what? I don't think this is a good idea. It's the only place we know she won't be found. I have that interview with the National Bureau of Criminal Investigations tomorrow. And up the greasy ladder she goes. I can't stay the night. Will be grand. Right, Rosie? I'll get some dinner. You okay, honey? I wanted him to die so many times. Why did to mommy? Oh. He always looks vexed. <laughs> uh, he was born that way. Is it because his friend got shot? I told you about that? He hasn't even talked to me about it. So what happened? How are you, Christy? You in? Hold on, I get him. Maybe he's right. Maybe it's better for now. It's what Rosie wants. You should be more worried about the shades. Grayson said they don't have enough to charge with us. What do you want? Somebody wants to have a word. How is it? Back in a minute. Mr. Bourne only stays here in winter. 
I know where the key was. And he painted the guitar? Yeah. He left us parked on the road. He said my songs were great, and he didn't like them. Here it is. Jack Taylor, Master Chef. Who would have thought? My mother taught me how to make two things. Irish stew and humble pie. I'm only good at one of them. Mm. Get big John and knuckles from me. So, Cody. Sounds like a nice guy. Pain in the hole most of the time. Yeah, he's all right. You know, I think he'll wake up. From the coma. I think he'll be all right. You're afraid of the dark. He's the same, unresponsive, getting thinner. I think his mum's losing hope. She wants to pull the plug on him. Maybe I should talk to her again. That's not a good idea. If he dies... Yeah, I know. I'll be back before lunchtime. Kid, I just wanted to say... Drive safely. 